Good morning, Slans. I'm Tony. And I'm Liz, and we're here with your daily, daily announcements. announcements. Today's weather is a high of 70 and a low of 48. Our word of the day is controversial, meaning highly debatable, causing contention. For example, millions of viewers watched the controversial debate take place. Students, today there will be an MSA meeting in Mr. Karomi's room, C12, right after school. Seniors, tomorrow at 6.15 is the senior sunrise on the football field. Tickets are $10 or $15 if you want food. You must buy your ticket today on RevTrack. Come join your classmates in watching the sunrise and celebrating the beginning of your senior year. Also, seniors, this Saturday is the parking spot hitting Palooza from 10 to 4. Make sure to dress for the weather and bring your supplies. Remember, Sellings, don't forget about the toy drive in memory of Holly TC. All donations must be dropped off in East Center. Attention, all stallions, staff, and students. This coming week is Spirit Week. Monday is Athlete versus Mathlete. Tuesday is Character versus Celebrity Day. Wednesday is Cancer Awareness, so wear all pink. Thursday is a Spellback Day. And Friday is Class Color Day. Freshmen are blue, sophomore are purple, juniors are red, and seniors are black and yellow. Time to show your school spirit. Now, now here, here is Faith and Abraham with sports. sports. Tuesday, our girls swim team won a hard-fought victory against Lakeshore, 73 and to 60. The meet came down to the last few events, with the Stallions pulling out the win with a first and second finish in the 400 free relay. There were many best times and free swims. Congrats to Meryl Z for swimming the 200 free and Maddie T for her first place finishes in the 100 fly and the 200 IM. The ladies next meet is today's against South Lake at six. Let's, Let's get, get another, another victory, victory girls. girls. Also on Tuesday, our boys and girls cross country teams competed in their second Mac Blue Jamboree at Metro Beach. The girls finished fifth out of 16 teams. Leading the way was senior Cameron Shell, who finished fifth overall out of 66 runners. Junior Lillian Furman set a personal record with a time of 22 minutes and 43 seconds, while placing 10th. Sophomore Emily Jamil also set a personal record of 27 minutes and 16 seconds. Great job, ladies! The boys team finished eighth out of 16 teams. Junior Vlad G led the team with a personal record finish of 20 minutes and 40 seconds. The cross country teams compete next at the Hanson Invitational, which is this Saturday at Freedom Hill County Park at 9.30 a.m. Great job, cross country. And today we have a home JV football game at five against Frazier. Good luck, boys. Today is the last day of our first month back here in school. Here's a video of kind and encouraging words from our staff. What are some inspirational words or advice you have for students? Um, my biggest piece of advice for all students is to find balance in your life. Make sure that when it comes to work, to school, to friends and family, and for yourself, that you're finding equal time for everything as much as possible. That's the best advice. Thank you. You're welcome. What are some inspirational words you have for students? I think the best thing students can always remember, regardless of their grade in high school, is to never stop trying. Regardless of how bad things go, whether you succeed or fail, never stop trying. You will succeed eventually. Thank you. No problem. What are some inspirational words you have for students? I would suggest that students put forth their best effort. I think it's really important to try your hardest. I mean, we can't all be good at everything, right? but we can all try really hard and learn along the way. Thank you. What are some inspirational words you have for students? Wow, I'm so glad you asked. I would like to quote Mr. Pitbull, Armando Cristian Perez. One of his most famous quotes is one of my favorites and it is, every day above ground is a good day. Um, another thing that he's known for saying is, um, turn the negative into a positive. And he actually lived his life like that so that's how I think we should all think, right? Thank you. You're welcome. That's all for your Thursday announcements. Have a great day.